Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about sinusoidal waveforms, sinusoidal equations, sinusoidal EMF equations, sinusoidal EMF equations we are going to discuss. Sinusoidal EMF equations. Sinusoidal EMF. Sinusoidal EMF is AC. Alternating current may be in the form of sinusoidal. This is the positive cycle, negative cycle, positive cycle, negative cycle. In the x-axis we are taking time period and y-axis we are taking magnitude. The sinusoidal waveform can be represented like this. What is meant by positive cycle? It is the time period t we are considering. After that it is a time period at this time the time period is pi and 2 pi. This is alternating cycles. This is known as amplitude. This is known as amplitude. In case of sinusoidal signal, alternating quantity, it is known as amplitude. It is known as Vm maximum value. These are all the instantaneous values. These are all the instantaneous values. E is the instantaneous value. E is the instantaneous value of an AC alternating quantity voltage. It is the maximum value Em. Em is the maximum value, maximum value of source voltage or maximum value of EMF, maximum value EMF. What is meant by time period T? The complete cycle, positive cycle and negative cycle, both cycles, complete time period is known as one cycle, complete time period is known as time period. It is the time period of one cycle. Number of cycles per second is known as frequency. Frequency is given by 1 by t, the reciprocal of time period. The number of cycles per second is known as frequency and f equal to 1 by t. If you know the time period of one complete cycle, then you can calculate frequency as 1 by t that gives frequency. This value is known as plus Vm and this is known as minus Vm. It is the sinusoidal voltage. The maximum value will obtain up to 90 degrees or pi by 2. At pi by 2, the maximum voltage will be obtained. It is called one complete cycle. One cycle it is. One cycle of alternating quantity. We can write the sinusoidal voltage equation as E max equal to E. E max equal to this is the maximum value at that moment uh, the time period is 90 degrees. We can write the sinusoidal EMF equation E equal to E max sin omega t sin omega t. We can represent the instantaneous value of uh, EMF at this position what is this E E equal to E max sin omega t or we can say that E max sin theta where theta equal to omega t that is similarly we can write the current equation alternating current equation i equal to i max sin omega t or i max sin theta we can write like this also if you want time period from this it is omega t is known as 2 pi f omega is known as 2 pi f 2 pi f into t that is e equal to from this equation e equal to e max sin omega we can substitute as 2 pi f 2 pi f but f equal to 1 by t we can substitute e max sin 2 pi 1 by t 1 by t into t 2 pi of omega t it is so omega t 2 pi of into t we can substitute like this these are the current and voltage equations in sinusoidal waveform a waveform is nothing but graphical representing the manner in which the alternating quantity varies alternating current or voltage varies current changes with respect to time is known as waveform or wave shape it is the graphical representation of the 
alternating voltage or current that changes with respect to time is known as waveform or wave shape. One complete cycle is known as one complete cycle is considered to calculate frequency. Now let us see some basic definitions regarding alternating quantities or sinusoidal voltages. One is instantaneous value. Instantaneous value. What is instantaneous value? The value of alternating quantity at any instant of time, at any instant of time it is the time period T1, at any instant of time if you consider the time period T and the amplitude is V or A, the sinusoidal voltage will be like this. This is known as one cycle, this is known as one cycle. The number of cycles per second is known as frequency. It is known as one cycle. It is the maximum value. It is the maximum value of alternating quantity. It is a time period T1 of cycle 1. Similarly, time period T2. For alternating quantity, the time period will be constant. It is positive cycle. It is negative cycle. The instantaneous value, sir, this is the time period T1, E1, V1 is the instantaneous value or induced voltage E1. It is the time period T2 or this instantaneous value is E2, E2 is the maximum value. Similarly, at Em, it is the maximum value, E max is obtained at pi by 2, it is pi, it is pi by 2, 2 pi, it is 180 degrees, it is 360 degrees, maximum value obtained at 90 degrees. Instantaneous values are these, sir. What is instantaneous value? The value of alternating quantity at any instant of time. At any instant of time, what is the value of alternating quantity? Is called instantaneous value. It is denoted by the lower case letters. It is denoted by lower case letters like E or V, we can assume. Or sometimes if you consider the current I, it is a I1, I2, I3. At, in, at this instant, I1 is the current and T1 is the time period. These are the all known as instantaneous values of alternating quantities or instantaneous values of sinusoidal voltages. Now we go for what is meant by cycle. One complete set of positive and negative values of alternating quantity is known as a cycle. One complete set of positive and negative Values of alternating quantity is known as one cycle. The portion of waveform contained one period of time is called cycle. One period of time it is known as uh, one cycle. A cycle can be defined in terms of angular measure. One cycle correspond to 360 degrees electrical. 2 pi means 2 it is half cycle 180 degrees and it is 360 degrees. One complete cycle is responsible for 360 degrees electrical or 2 pi radians. One cycle equal to 360 degrees electrical or 2 pi radians. 2 pi radians. What is time period? Time taken in one second. Time taken in seconds to complete one cycle of alternating quantity is called time period or time period it is. It is generally represented by T. It is the time period of this alternating quantity. It is generally represented by T, time period. Time interval between successive repetitions of periodic waveform is called time period. It is also defined as the successive repetition of a periodic waveform is called time period T. For example, in this diagram, T1 is the time period of this one cycle. T2 is the another time period of this cycle, represented by T. T1 equal to T2 equal to T in case of sinusoidal waveform. What is the frequency? The number of cycles made per second of an alternating quantity is called frequency. F equal to 1 by T, you know. The number of cycles made per second or number of cycles per second is known as alternating quantity frequency. It is denoted by the letter F. F is the letter to indicate frequency and measured in hedges, cycles per second or hedge is the frequency. 
the frequency of alternating quantity is the reciprocal of time period one it is 1 by t what is amplitude of or peak value the maximum value it is the maximum value of positive cycle or negative cycle it is the maximum value of negative cycle the maximum value is constant but polarity will be changes it is a positive polarity it is a negative polarity the maximum value of that is obtained in alternate quantity is called amplitude or peak value it is denoted by case letters em em is the maximum value em is the maximum value that is obtained now peak to peak value it is the peak to peak value we can consider if you consider this it is the peak to peak value v peak to peak we can call also called as peak to peak value is maximum variation between maximum positive instantaneous value and maximum negative instantaneous value is called peak to peak value from max to peak to negative peak this value is known as peak to peak value it is known as p peak to peak or e peak to peak or i peak to peak if you consider it is a current i peak to peak now yeah, what is angular velocity angular velocity is distance in degrees in radians in time in seconds omega equal to theta by let us consider a numerical problem an alternating current is represented by i equal to 70.75 sin 520t determine the maximum value time period frequency and the current 0.015 second after passing through zero we have to calculate maximum value frequency time period and current for this first we have to go compare the equation with i equal to i max i max sin omega t compare the this equation with i max sin omega t from that i max equal to 70.7 amps is the maximum value that is the first bit answer first one is i maximum value is from pair this equation if you compare 70.7 amps is the maximum value second one frequency how to calculate frequency frequency is omega omega equal to 520 from this equation 520 is known as omega 520 omega is 2 pi f equal to 520 from that f equal to 520 by 2 pi 520 by 2 pi that equal to 82.76 hedges this is how to calculate frequency from the given equation is from this compare this equation with respect to on the standard equation i equal to i max sin omega t from this i max in this place we have comparing this we can write i max from omega equal to omega t omega t omega equal to 2 pi f that is 2 into pi into frequency f equal to 520 by 2 pi 2 pi here pi value we have to substitute what is pi value pi value directly we have to substitute not 180 degrees that is 3.14 if you substitute you will get 82.76 hedges next third one time period time period t how to calculate i already told you 1 by f time period is or f equal to 1 by t from this time period t equal to 1 by f if you make time period 1 by f then you will calculate 1 by 82.76 that equal to 0 0.012 seconds is the time period of one cycle time period of one cycle next fourth one what is fourth one the current 0 0.0015 second after passing through zero we know that time period t is passing through zero it is t equal to 0 0.0015 seconds it is seconds the given Comparingly, compared to this i equal to i max sin omega t, i max, we can write i equal to i max sin omega t, omega is known as 2 pi f sin 2 pi f into t, t is known as here 0 
1 to 5. It is the equation. You can write this equation. We are substituting omega equal to 2 pi alpha. After writing like this, that equal to I max. I max well already we know that 70.7. 70.7 is the maximum value. Sine 2 into pi value here we have to consider 180 degrees. 180 degrees. 180 degrees into F is frequency already calculated 82.76 into time they given that at time period t what is the current we have to calculate 0 0.0015 ee vidhanga mana substitute chesthe mana aa time period lo unde current tu telustundi appudu ee venni calculate chesthe if you calculate all this then you will get 49.72 amps is the at that instant at that time period at that uh, time period at that time period if the time period is 0 0.0.0015 seconds what is the current 49.72 it is the current if you consider y axis is current and x axis is time period at that 0 0.0015 time period the current will be 49.72 it is 49.72 like this we have to calculate from the sinusoidal voltage equations now we go for various values of alternating voltages and currents what are the various values means peak value or maximum value average value one is peak value that is values of alternating quantities ac voltage or current one is peak value, peak value or peak means maximum, maximum value, it is the maximum value. Second one is average value and third one is average value also known as mean value, mean value of AC and third one is RMS value or effective value it is known as all the meters reads RMS value any meter if you consider voltmeter on meter they will read RMS value that's why it is known as effective value what is peak value peak value means already in this diagram it is the maximum value it is also known as the maximum value attained by alternating quantity during one cycle is known as peak value it is also called as maximum value or crest value or amplitude it is the amplitude of ac it is the amplitude of ac the maximum value attained by alternating quantity during one cycle is called peak value peak value or crest value it is known as it is also known as amplitude of cycle amplitude of one cycle Similarly, we go for average value. What is average value? Peak value is nothing but maximum value. Peak value is nothing but maximum value or peak value. Now we go for average value. Average value. Average value of an alternating quantity I average is expressed as by steady state current which transfers any when across any circuit same charge is transferred by that alternating current during the same time the average value can be defined as the average value can be defined as the average value of an alternating current is expressed by the steady current which transfers the same charge at the same time transferred by AC also the average value of alternating quantity expressed by the steady current which transfer across any circuit same charge is transferred by that alternating current during the same time it is known as average value definition average value can be obtained if you know this average value it is the average value how to calculate area of one alteration by base time time period if you consider area of one cycle if you consider area of one cycle divided by base length of one cycle is known as average value average value is known as average value how to calculate average value v average equal to v1 instantaneous value is v1 plus v2 plus v3 and so on up to vn divided by total number of instantaneous value similarly the average value of instant voltage is given by 
in total. What is the average? To find the average of instantaneous currents during the intervals, the average current is arithmetic mean of ordinates equal by one half cycle. To find the average value of voltage, number of instantaneous values by how many instantaneous values we consider divided by n, we can calculate average value. Now we can calculate analytically what is the average value for one cycle. If you consider one cycle is like this, one cycle. If you consider the one cycle, it is the first cycle and negative cycle. One cycle, it is pi by 2 is the maximum value we can obtain. It is known as current if you consider i is the current on y axis and x axis time period t. If you assume theta equal to omega t, we can also consider in y axis. It is a positive maximum value that is im. It is negative maximum value minus im of one cycle. It is the total area. It is the total area of positive cycle. It is an area of negative cycle. It is pi. It is 2 pi. What is this value? Pi by 2. The maximum value we will obtain pi by 2. Similarly, here maximum value will be obtained at minus im at 8 pi by 2. 8 pi by 2, the maximum value obtained. This value is known as i max. The instantaneous value at this instant i equal to i max sin omega t or sin theta. We can write omega t as sin theta. That is i equal to i max sin theta. The equation of an alternating quantity is represented by i equal to i max sin theta that already we written. The equation of an alternating quantity or instantaneous well is given by i max sin theta. Make it as equation 1. Area of half cycle. Area of half cycle we are considering. Area of half cycle equal to integral 0 to pi i d theta. i d theta. Base length of half cycle is pi minus 0. Base length. Base length of half cycle equal to half cycle. Base length of half cycle equal to pi minus 0. It is the pi, it is the 0 value. It is the total length is pi minus 0. Therefore, average value can be calculated. How can we see? Let us see average value. How, how can we calculate average value? Average value I average equal to area of cycle area of half cycle divided by base length base length of half cycle that equal to we can write base length is 1 by t it is the 1 by t integral 0 to t integral 0 to t y of t dt we can write that equal to that equal to integral 0 to pi i d theta divided by base length is base length is pi minus 0 area of half cycle divided by base length we are dividing this two this two then you will get i d theta integral 0 to pi i d theta divided by pi minus 0 base length is that we can write as 1 by pi integral 0 to pi i max sin theta d theta we are writing this i equal to i equal to i max sin theta it is the equation one we are substituting here i max sin theta d theta that equal to if you remove this i max by pi integral 0 to pi integral 0 to pi sin theta d theta we can write sin theta d theta that equal to i m by pi if what is the integration of sin theta is minus cos theta the limits are 0 to pi. 
now i m by pi if you limit upper limit is minus cos phi minus lower limit is 0 cos 0 degrees from that i m by pi cos pi value is minus 1 minus of minus 1 cos 0 is 1 it is cos plus cos 0 degrees because we are substituting the limits minus cos phi minus of minus plus will come minus 1 plus 1 that is minus 1 plus 1 2 i m by pi is the average value i average equal to 2 i m by pi this is the average value of an alternating quantity we can represent v average also if you consider this voltage if you consider this as voltage this is the vm similarly v average is equal to similarly v average is equal to 2 vm by pi 2 vm by pi this is the average value calculation 2 vm by pi What is the value of 2 by pi value is 0 0.637 im we can write similarly for this also 2 by pi value is 0 0.637 vm this is the average value similarly we gave for rms value rms value 